is Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. Howdy, viewers, and thank you for returning. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In the Locations, Locations, Locations video, and I'll leave a link to it in the upper right corner, I found a scary kind of place while hunting panthers. Uh, then I remembered that there was a serial killer on the loose in Red Dead Redemption 2, and the place I found was one of his, um, how should we say, prideful displays. And so I went back to that place and then looked around for the other two locations that would eventually lead to capturing the serial killer. And I gave his name away in the title, but you'll still see how things played out. So let's get on with this and Edmund Lowry Jr.'s tale. Uh, the first location, uh, since it was in the dark, I kind of didn't make a real, how shall I say, specific you know, location marker on the map. And in this case, you can see it on the map, there is a black X. And, yeah, you can see the trail of blood here leading up to the location. One of the things I didn't find around this location when I was first here during the night was the head of the victim because the serial killer leaves a note stuffed in the head of the victim and as you can tell what's hanging from the tree doesn't have any head so it has to be around here somewhere. So I'm going to search the area from first person view and see if I can find the head. I don't know what you did to deserve this. Uh. Okay, now that I've found the head and the note, I'm going to go to the second location which is somewhere outside of Valentine and I'm going to show you the location of this place on the map and it actually appears as a black X on the map you can kind of see it in the radar but again all these murder locations actually do appear on the map and again I'm going to show you right where it is and then you can see for yourself on the map, it is right here where the player is standing 
again, it appears as a black location on the map, or black X on the map. The next location is a small railroad bridge by Valentine, just out of Valentine. And yeah, you can see it. The guy has left, look on my works. And I'll show you the location on the map right here, just outside of Valentine. And real close. Like I said, the, the X probably wouldn't show up because it's under the railroad tracks. But yeah, that is the location. It does show up on the radar, though. If you can see where the character is standing. Now I'm going to switch to first person view and search for the head. Yeah, it took me a little time to find the head, and now I, um, I had to retrace up the bloody path and come back down. But I did find the head, and we will move on to the next location uh, for the next victim. And it's outside of Wallace Station. Once I got near Wallace Station, all I did was look for that red or that black X right here and you can see it on the map like I said the, the corpses appear on the map with a small black X and then I just rode to the general area once I got to the general area I just looked for the blood trail and sort of followed it to where the actual victim is since I'm going toward the road I know I'm going the wrong direction so I got to turn around and follow the blood and gore up to where the victim really is
Jesus. Yeah. Oh, this some sick tran. Uh. Now, the serial killer's location is just outside of Valentine. And, yeah, we're going to go to there next. And it's called Lucky's Cabin. And its location is actually not where I thought it was. Once you start riding toward the serial killer, his location will appear, Lucky's Cabin, on the map. I thought it was a little further northeast but no i have arrived at where the serial killer lives and we'll see if we can find him Now there are several notes, and you can read them. I'm not going to read through them, but they are kind of self-important notes. Again, I'm not going to read through them. In this letter, Edmund's mother writes to him, and yeah. It's kind of creepy. You can see body parts and knives and stuff. Now, I pick up the Kentucky bourbon and the cigarettes. And I actually didn't find something to trigger the serial killer popping out. So, yeah. I'm going to go back up stairs and then come back down and see if I can trigger the serial killer coming out and popping out. But I'll take the bourbon first. I probably should have used the lantern. <laughs> have you come for me? Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now I'm not going to lie it's not going to be nice and fun I mean it'll be fun for me but it won't be nice for you oh.
the entire ride to the sheriff, Edmund says nothing. He just lies across the back of the horse until you bring him to the sheriff's office. And again, like I said, he says absolutely nothing to Arthur. No complaints, no begging, nothing. Come on, man. Found that fella you were looking for. Which fella? Ugh. I'm not giving you a cell until you introduce this boy. Now put him down there. Fella been... Been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar of that broke-down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, you. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Yeah. Well, like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. Uh, I think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick uh. bastards out there. Right here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Now we gotta get this body out of here. What's interesting is what happens after this mission, American Dream. Arthur ends up bumping into a woman he had brought in on a bounty. And yeah, her name is Ellie Ann Swain. And what's really interesting is this guy just picks up the body, walks out the back, and dumps it. And I'm going to show you that because it, it's really funny. Now, again, Arthur can talk to Ellie Ann Swain. She was the Black Widow type bounty he had to round up, but the reality is, nah, she won't let him out. He won't let her out. And so, yeah, I'm going to just fast forward through this. And now the body, it's just dumped right over there, and you can pick it up if you want. I'm not going to. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you can stay informed. I post four videos a week involving video games and a few shorts thereafter. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.